their multiple years of dedication and devotion to the program, won a state championship last year and would love to have a repeat. But at this time, I would like to introduce our seniors and their escorts. Introducing senior Addison Brewer. Addison is the daughter of Laura Raglan and the late Ashley Brewer. She is being escorted this, e <clears throat> this evening by her mom, Laura Ragland, and her stepdad, Chase Ragland. She has lettered in softball for three years, both in 10th, 11th, and 12th grades. Other team organizations she's been a member of, she has been a member of Beta Club all four years and FFA for two years. Her academic awards include being A, B, A, and B honor roll all four years of high school. Uh, plans after high school are to go into the medical field to help other people. Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Addison Brewer. <laughs> Introducing Senior Elisha Hernandez. Elisha is being escorted by her parents, Alex and Blenda Hernandez. Elisha has lettered in softball all four years. Her softball awards include sophomore year, second team all region, her junior year defensive award, first team all region, and first team all state. Uh, she is also a star member of our track program. Uh, she has run track and is in the, uh, the 2023 2A 300 meter hurdle state champion. Uh, her plans after high school are to attend college under a scholarship in track. Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Elisha Hernandez. <laughs> Introducing Senior Bentley Metz. Bentley is being escorted by her parents, Donna and Roger Metz. Bentley has lettered in softball for four years. She's lettered in golf for three years and lettered in basketball for one year. Her softball awards of freshman year, honorable mention, her sophomore year, second team all region, and her junior year, first team all region, and second team all state. She's also a member of the First Baptist Church of Hazelhurst, a member of the Jeff Davis basketball team, a member of the Jeff Davis golf team. Her plans after high school, or to attend Georgia Southern University to major in graphic design. Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Bentley Metz. Introducing Senior Jenna Miles. Jenna is being escorted by her parents, Herc and Tanya Miles. Jenna has lettered in softball for four years, varsity. Her softball awards include her freshman year defense, uh, best defensive player and second team all region. Her sophomore year, the best defensive player, first team all region and second team all state. Her junior year, the best defensive player, first team all state and region player of the year and was a part of the 2022 state championship team. Uh, other organization, organizations Jenna has been a part of, she has played travel ball with the Eastern Elite Gold. Uh, she's played golf for six years. She is a member of Beta Club, FFA, and 4-H. Uh, she is also an academic award. She's been on the honor roll all 12 years. Her plans after high school are to, uh, she has committed to play softball at the University of North Georgia and major in kinesiology to become a physical therapist. Ladies and gentlemen, senior Jenna Miles. Introducing senior Callie Sellers. Callie is being escorted by her parents, Ashley Daniels and Josh Sellers. She has lettered in softball for four years at the varsity level. Her awards include honorable mention in the ninth grade. Her plans after high school are to attend Southeastern Technical College to further her nursing career. Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Callie Sellers. 
Introducing senior J.C. Underwood. J.C. is being escorted by her parents, Chad Underwood and Autumn Underwood. She has lettered in softball all four years of high school. Her awards include freshman year, second team all region, her sophomore year, region player of the year, first team all state, and offensive player of the year. In her junior year, the 2A GACA player of the year, first team all region, and offensive player of the year. She has, uh, her other organizations or teams she's participated with is Travel Ball, the EC Bullets Snoot. Uh, she attends First Baptist Church here in Hazelhurst. Her academic awards, she has made honor roll all four years and is in Beta Club and received the Georgia Merit Award. Her plans after high school are to attend Jacksonville State University to further her academic and athletic career. Her major at this point in time is undecided. Introducing senior Ella Wood. <laughs> Ella is being escorted by her parents, Paul and Tina Wood. She has lettered in softball all four years. Her softball awards include best defensive award, uh, first team all region her junior year, second team all region her freshman year, uh, Pride of the Jackets, and second team all state, first team all region. Her plans after high school are attend to attend Southeastern Technical College for radiologic technology. Ladies and gentlemen, Senior Ella Wood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, take a look out there. That is a, as fine a senior class as we have had here in a long time. Let's have them another big round of applause and thank them for everything they have done for this program. Thank you. At Altamaha Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altamahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
For Lady Jack the Field for this afternoon's varsity matchup between the visiting Berrien County Rebelettes and George Jeff Davis Lady Yellow Jackets. The Georgia High School Association and its member schools have made a commitment to promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators at all GHSA sanctioned events. Profanity, degrading remarks, and intimidating actions directed at officials or competitors will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the event site. Spectators are not allowed to enter the competition area during warm-ups or while the contest is being conducted. Thank you for your cooperation in the promotion of good sportsmanship at this evening's event. Testing one, two. Hey, there we go. Got it. He's on here. at Lady Jacket Field. I'll catch you all with a couple things when we do starting lineups. We'll turn it back over to Dr. Stapleton. We are here on the Bank of Angels Network at the Lady Jacket Field. Field conditions are brought to you by Mitch's Pharmacy. As you can tell, lines are fresh. JV games went into seven innings.
Lady Jacket's able to pull it out. When it ate, it was tied, and it, we were able to pull it out with a victory. Oh, they left it as a tie. Sorry, getting corrections. I saw the runner come across, but they left it as a tie to finish up the game. Now we recognize our seniors tonight. We had them. And I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Stapleton real quick for the starting lineup. Tucker. Playing right field, number four, Eddie Garner. Playing first base, number 27, Bella Sheely. Playing second base, number nine, Callie Nix. Playing center field, number 10, Emma Castleberry. Playing shortstop, number 17, Presley Wade. Playing left field, number two, Miley Ray. Pitching, number 15, Casey Hale. Playing designated player, number 23, Peyton Harris. And playing third base flex, number 21, Madison Lovett. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineup for your Jeff Davis Lady Yellow Jackets. Playing shortstop, number seven, Jenna Miles. Senior Jenna Miles. Playing third base, number 21, senior J.C. Underwood. Designated player, number 31, Claire Snenson. Pitching, number 25, Carrie Ellen Arnold. Playing right field, number 5, Kira Buford. Playing first base, senior Ella Wood. Catching, senior, uh, number 14, senior Callie Sellers. Playing center field, number four, senior Bentley Metz. Playing left field, number 18, senior Lysha Hernandez. And playing second base flex, number three, Corey Mims. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts, where parts arrive daily, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at their location at 118 Ottawa Hall Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets! Cypress Hill Tent Shop, located in Graham, Georgia, offers tenting solutions for every need. Sunroofs, tent matching, removal of old tent, and new installation using state-of-the-art equipment and machines. Cypress Hill Tent Shop uses union tent, guaranteed not to bubble, fade, or discolor over time, and offers both carbon and ceramic tent options. Tent protects the inside of your vehicle and keeps the inside cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We also offer pickup and drop-off options for your convenience. Call us today. Go Jackets! 
Welcome back here at Lady Jack of Fields. We're getting ready to start off the Jadoos Hospital first inning here on the Bank of Hayes Network. Again, field conditions brought to you by Mitch's Pharmacy. Fields in great shape. A little hazy out there. No clouds in the sky. And a beautiful afternoon here with no wind blowing as the Lady Jackets are taking on Barry and Rebels here in game one of the three-game series. Arnold with the pitch. Comes in high for ball one. Pitch again. Swing and a miss. Count even one and one. Again, we had our senior recognition tonight here on senior night. Arnold again. Wind up pitch. Change up. Got her frozen. Strike two. Seniors for the Lady Jackets. Addison Brewer. Elisha Hernandez. Bentley Metz. Jenna Miles. Callie Sellers. J.C. Underwood and Ella Wood. Swinging a strikeout here for the first out of the inning. Those seven ladies, all members of the 2022 AA state championship team. Had four seniors last year. Arnold looking in, trying to get her sign from Sellers. The pitch. Ball goes high. Ball inside. Catches the umpire, though. So you count now 2-0. Oh. <clears throat> Corners are playing even with the bag. Middle infield's back. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Comes in the game, 71 innings pitched so far in 14 games. Swing and a miss. She has faced 292 batters this season. 11-3 record. She has 74 strikeouts coming into this game with 35 walks. She's only given up 15 earned runs. So she's at 75. 76. Out number two. with two strikeouts, two batters. That's going to bring up Bella Sheely, the first baseman for the Lady Rebels. Arnold's ERA is a 1.47. Her pitch is a 56 stranded on base. Ball floats away. Lady Jackets are 14 and 3 on the season. Two losses coming to Cook. Called strike, catches the inside corner. Count out 1 and 1. So Lady Jackets at number 2 in the region right now behind Cook. As we start and end up this season, uh, uh, this week and next week. The pitch. Huge swing there by. Sheely, unable to connect. Lady Jackets taking on Barry today. Got to go to Sumpner tomorrow. We will not travel over there. They're playing a triple header tomorrow against Sumpner. Strike three. So three up, three down. All with strikeouts for Arnold here in the top of the first. That's going to take us to the middle of one on the Jeff, uh, on the Jeff, uh, excuse me, on the Bank of Hazard's network. Jeff Davis walking clean at scoreboard. Lady Jack is zero. Lady Rebel is zero. 
At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his staff at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic have proudly served this community as the original walk-in clinic for your sick visit needs and as volunteer sports medicine for all our Jeff Davis athletics since 2014. Whether at the clinic, on the sidelines, courtside, mat side, or on the diamond, Dr. Kirk is always ready to help. Give him a call at 912-375-4884 or pop in at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst behind Jeff Davis Hospital. God bless and go Jackets from the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Welcome back here as we enter the Jeff Davis Hospital bottom of the first on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network. That's going to bring up leadoff lefty Jenna Miles for the Lady Jackets. Miles will step in with a 375 batting average on the season. Ball one. Miles has 18 hits. One of those is a home run. Brought in 12 RBIs, 14 walks. She got a rope hit left field. It's going to be over the left fielder's head. It's going to bounce off the bottom of the wall. She's at two. She's going for three. Senior Jenna Miles, leadoff lefty, starts off the game with a triple for the Lady Jackets here. Big hit by Miles to start us off. That's going to bring up J.C. Underwood. J.C. batting 509 on the season with 27 hits. Four of those are home runs. Underwood hit. Short start, but able to come up with it. That's going to score Miles. Underwood's at first. Rounds, rounds it. That's going to be a RBI single for Underwood. Taking her to 24 on the season. That's going to bring up Stinson. Stinson has three home runs this season on 16 uh, hits with a 333 batting average. Underwood with a stolen base. Called strike as it come across. Underwood with a stolen base, though. Runner, runners now at second with no outs. This is a pop-up. We got fisted. Count one and two. Excuse me. I didn't clear it off the last time. Count oh and two. Underwood's on second. Looking to come in to score. Be good to swap spots here. Stinson at the back plate. Chopper of the middle. Shortstop able to get that one. Throws the first. For the out, but Underwood is at third. That's one out here in the bottom of the first. It's going to bring up Kerry Ellen Arnold. Arnold stepping in, batting 333 as well on the season. 17 hits. One of those, two of those are home runs. She's got 15 RBIs, just two walks. Arnold with a shot to center field. Center fielder has to come over. That's going to bring in Underwood. Arnold stays at first. There's an RBI single for Arnold helping herself out in the circle. Now your score with Jeff Davis walking clean at scoreboard is two to nothing. Arnold's going to get a courtesy runner here as Alara Van comes in. Alira, excuse me. Is going to come in and courtesy run for Arnold. That's going to bring up Buford to the plate. 
Buford hitting 300 on the season. Got six hits, three RBIs, three walks. Called strike. Corners are walked up a lot. They're expecting kind of a bunt situation here. Ball hit down left. Oh, got caught. It's got caught off second or first as she was trying to go too far. So that's batter out, runner out here in the bottom of the first as we've completed one on Jeff Davis walking clean scoreboard is two to nothing in favor of the Lady Jackets here on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network. Quick word from our sponsors. Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street, or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at DP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets. That's going to bring up Callie Nix here as we enter the Jeff Davis Hospital top of the second with your Jeff Davis walking clinic scoreboard. Jeff Davis 2, Barry and 0. Arnold with a pitch. Strike. Arnold first inning, three up, three strikeouts. Season total now at 77. Nick steps back in. Second baseman for the Lady Rebels. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Count quickly in Arnold's favor. 0 and 2. She'll aim for a spot here now. Chopper, Arnold comes over to field it, tosses it to first for the out. That's going to bring up Emma Castleberry, number 10 center fielder for the Lady Rebels. Castleberry going to step in. On with a pitch. Ball. Ouch. I'm going to step back in looking for the sign. Pop up, going to go foul over the concession stand. That's. One one count. Our corners are our corners are playing in a little bit. Middle's playing deep. Castleberry ready. The pitch. Another cut. Swing foul ball. Count one and two. Got her. Change up. Come in there low. 
Now there's two outs. That's four strikeouts on the night so far for Arnold and five batters faced. That's going to bring up number 17, Presley Wade. Shortstop for the Lady Rebels. Had a couple of hot shots hitting her last inning. Called strike. Arnold working quickly now. The rock, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. with the pitch. Change up comes in low. Count goes one and two. Arnold ready. Another swing and a miss. That's another strikeout for Arnold. That puts it five on the night. So far on six batters, another three up, three down inning as we've com completed one and a half on the uh, on the Jeff De on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network. Excuse me, guys. I'll get it right in a second. You know, the Jeff Davis Walker Clinic scoreboard, Lady Jackets 2, Lady Rebels 0. Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. a little quick here so we got one one sponsor in this time catch streaks to throw down it's going to bring up Ella Wood another senior here for the Lady Jackets tonight Wood Wood's been in uh, seven games uh, couldn't start there at the beginning of the season She's had 17 plate appearances. She's at 188 batting average right now. Three hits. Stepping in. Been putting the ball in play. Has no strikeouts. Another left center shot. Left fielder comes is able to come over and make a catch. Kind of been Ella's deal right now. She's putting the ball in play hard, but unable to get it to fall. That's going to bring up Callie Sellers. Sellers has three walks this season on, with 10 hits, giving her a 312 average. Sellers steps in. Another senior hit the uh, shortstop. Shortstop is unable to get it cleanly. She tries to field it, but it falls. Runners aboard, though. It's going to bring up Joyce. Madison Joyce is going to be a courtesy runner for Sellers. Bentley Metz stepping in. Metz hitting 395 on the season. 17 hits and five walks. Matt steps in, wait on the pitch. Takes the ball high. Joyce again, our pinch or courtesy runner here for Sellers on first. Ball is hit hard to center field. Center field is floating to get under it. Is able to haul it in for the second out. Joyce has to remain at first. The 
the pitch comes in to Hernandez. Again, Hernandez, one of our seniors. They talked about her being the state champion hurdler in her introduction. She's hitting 340 on the season with 16 hits, three walks. That was a ball. Count out 2-0. and oh. The pitch. Pop-up. Catcher's going to give it a chase. It's going to make it out of its way out of bounds. Uh, out of foul territory, excuse me. Out of bounds. Foul territory. Depends on what sport you're at. We're still on first. We've got two outs here. Bottom of the second. We're looking to use a Williams Brothers truck and home run by Hernandez. Ball lowered in the dirt. Oh, it's, she, uh, Hernandez draws a walk. That's going to bring Miles back up, who started us off with a triple. Ball comes inside. Count one and zero. Oh. The lights have come on here at Lady Jacket Field. Going to brighten this place up. It's got a little foggy. Yes, your bitches pharmacies field report. Miles with a drive. It's going to go left center home run. Boys out there watching over the fence had to guard their truck as she drilled one over left center. Three run homer by Miles. That is a Williams Brothers trucking home run to give the Lady Jackets a. Five to nothing lead here on the Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Big drive by Miles. It went over left center. Boys out there watching the game had to protect their trucks. That's going to bring up Underwood. Ball high. Counts 1-0 and oh with two outs. Here goes the pitch. Underwood with a bloop going to get in front of it. That's going to be a base hit. Base, uh, Underwood zone. It's bringing up Stinson. Stinson steps in. Ball low. Stinson with the pop up left side. Going to go over the dugout. Foul. Count one and one. Coach Wilcox trying to tell him we need the softball back in. Underwood on first. Stinson at the plate. Two outs. Underwood's going again. Another stolen base. Count two and one now. Ball 
Here's the pitch. Ball again. Three and one. Casey Hill pitching for the Lady Rebels. Shortstop comes over and makes a play down the line for the third out, but not before the Lady Jackets are able to put some on the board here on the Bank of Hazards Network. Your Jeff Davis Walker Clinic scoreboard, Lady Jackets 5, Lady Rebels 0, as we have completed two get a word from our sponsors. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over-the-road tractor-trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family-owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! Make the switch to Mitch. Visit Designs and More by Brandy located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop Designs and More by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone. Shoes by Corky and jacket t-shirts for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst, open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. Sorry, welcome back here as we enter the Jeff Davis Hospital third inning on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network. Visa Group brings you your streaming. We're very appreciative of that. Arnold with the pitch. Ball low. Again, Arnold has had two three up, three down innings. He's had five strikeouts facing six batters. The other batter hit a blooper back to her. Swing and a miss by Miley Ray. He steps back in. He's ready to work. Arnold didn't come off the rubber hardly at all. Another swing and a miss. Great game here by Arnold so far. Ball floats in. Arnold looking in again. Wind up pitch. Ball low, just missing. First full count tonight by Arnold. Got her hit by pitch. Puts runner on board. Arnold has thrown 28 pitches. 20 of them have been strikes on the night. She did just hit a batter, though, so that puts one on. Batter's kind of walking around. Got hit in the ribs. Elbow. All close to the same area. Giving her a chance here. Get a quick 30-second timeout as we check on this runner. Silas Worth Monument Company offers factory direct orders from Memorial Designs to remember your loved ones. They can create one-of-a-kind computer designs or traditional monuments. You can choose your remembrance in beautiful granite, marble, bronze, or cremation monuments. Call Victor Worth and his staff today at 912-375-4587 or visit their location at 353 Alma Highway in Hazelhurst. Also visit them online at silasworthmonument.com. 
Welcome back here as had a little courtesy runner come on and run for Berrien. That's going to bring up Casey Hill. Big cut. Unable to connect. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Chopper going to go foul. Everybody go back to where you come from. Reckons now some of our in-game sponsors. Salisworth Monument, C&H Creative Flooring, Bank of uh, Ottawa Hall Bank, Three Rivers Meat Company, McCarty Auto Parts, EP American Footwear, Interstate Credit Union, Southern Eye Care, and Cypress Hill Tent Shop. Pop up. Ella Woods calling everybody off. And she's able to haul it in for the first out of the inning. Runner can't go anywhere, so we still have a runner at first. That's going to bring up Peyton Harris. Harris steps in. Unable to connect on that swing. Count 0 and 1. Arnold stepping in. Looking for a sign from Sellers. Sellers looking over to Coach Taylor for the sign. The pitch. Foul ball went straight back. Count 0 and 2. The P, uh, EP American Footwear will also bring you a pitch change if we have any. He's a good brings you the streaming. Arnold stepping in. Rock the pitch. Pop up. That's going to be Mims. Catches it. Tries to throw back at first, but unable to get it there in time. Out two. So far, Barry had had a hit by pitch lead off batter this inning here in the top of the third. But Lady Jackson's been able to shut him down since. Two pop-ups. Arnold come back, comes back in. They're set, ready to go. Looks for a sign. The rock, the pitch. Pop-up again. Underwood's on her horse. Able to go. Oh! In her glove, but rolled out. Hard catch. Backhand over the shoulder. Trying to pull it in. As she turned the glove over, it rolled out. Underwood gave it a try. But that is still a strike. Count 0-1. Oh, uh, Tucker. Change up. Gets her. Sellers throws down. Gets her. At second. Miles comes in. Grabs it. And th hits the tag all in one fatal swoop to get the out. That's going to bring Tucker back up. But still, awesome play by Miles. Great throw by Sellers to go down. That's going to end the top of the third. On the Bank of Hazelhurst Network, your Jeff Davis walking Clinton scoreboard, Lady Jackets 5, Lady Rebels 0, as we get a word from our sponsor. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Welcome back. I'm not sure what happened, but we're here ready to roll on 
as we enter the bottom of the Jeff Davis Hospital third inning here on the Bank of Hazards Network, brought to you by the streaming of the Beasley Group. That's going to bring up Arnold, who is one for one. Arnold steps in, tried to help herself out. She had a – Arnold got fisted a little bit, hit the second. Second makes a scoop and play, throws the first. Ooh-wee. That must have been a shadow over there at first base. He, she got called out, but uh, I think she was a step past the bag. It must have been a shadow that he thought he saw. That's going to bring up Buford here as uh, Hale gets set. She pops one foul over the visitor's dugout. Score again is five nothing. Ball low in the dirt. Hale has pitched 27 pitches. 17 of those have been strikes. She has faced 13 batters so far. She's given up one run or one earned run, five runs. Ball low again inside, and one walk. Has no strikeout so far, giving up four hits. One strike. Two strikes. Should be a 2 2 count. Oh, pop up. Sorry, that was Addison Brewer batting. I'm sorry, that was not Buford. That's what they were saying, number one for Doc. So we have two outs as Addison Brewer hit a pop up. That's going to bring up Ella Wood here. Ella stepping in. Chopper back to the pitcher. Pitcher fills it cleanly. Throws her to first. First one, two, three inning for the Lady Rebels here on the Bank of Hazards Network. That completes three of your Jeff Davis Hospital innings on, with your Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic scoreboard. Lady Jackets five, Lady Rebels zero. We get a couple words from our sponsors. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Bridge. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back here at Lady Jacket Field as we're getting ready for the Jeff Davis Hospital top of the fourth on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network. We know there's making some changes. We'll see what we can get here for Berrien with their new batters.
drive to center field. Metz trying to get over. It's going to make it to the wall. Bounces off the wall. Metz comes up with it. It's going to be a double for number 12. And it's Tucker who was able to come back and hit again because the girl got caught stealing last inning. That's going to, that's going to be Gardner with the – So now Barian has runner on second, bringing up Gardner. Again, tomorrow, Jeff Davis will travel over and play Sumpner in a triple header. And Sumpner, followed by Wednesday, travel down to Barian in a double header. Just keep your eye out. Not sure if we will be covering these two games on the live stream. Here comes the pitch. Pop up. Underwood's going to be under this one for out number one. Oh, give us just a second. We, we lost a. Eric's camera signal. We'll come to this other one. Turn it just a little bit for me, please, so that you get the batter in there, too. Yeah. Arnold with the pitch. Called strike. Run down there real quick. Check what went on with the other uh, camera. Arnold looking in. The rock, the pitch, ball lowered in the dirt. Comes the pitch, ball low again. Count two and one. Over the pitch. Chopper. Arnold backhands it, comes up, throws over to first. That gets you two outs. Still no damage done by the leadoff double by Tucker. Make sure that one's on. The receiver. Make sure that one's good to go. Cut, miss, strike one. Arnold with the pitch. Ball comes in high of the letters. Arnold sets back in. You count now one and two. Oh, waiting for the clear from the, pit, the umpire. Umpire points at her. The pitch. Cut and a miss. Strike three. That's another K for Arnold. Get us out. That, that leadoff double by Tucker didn't come back and get us. We completed three and a half. Here on the Bank of Hazard's Network, your Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard. Jeff Davis 5, Lady Rebels 0. Going to work a couple words from our sponsor. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts, where parts arrive daily, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. 
at their location at 118 Ottawa Hall Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets! Cypress Hill Tent Shop, located in Graham, Georgia, offers tenting solutions for every need. Sunroofs, tent matching, removal of old tent, and new installation using state-of-the-art equipment and machines. Cypress Hill Tent Shop uses a union tent guaranteed not to bubble, fade, or discolor over time and offers both carbon and ceramic tent options. Tent protects the inside of your vehicle and keeps the inside cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We also offer pickup and drop-off options for your convenience. Call us today. Go Jacket! There we go. Welcome back. We got our camera situation fixed. We'll swap back over to that camera in a second. Sellers chopping down left field line. Going to go foul for strike number one. We're here in the bottom of the Jeff Davis Hospital fourth inning with on the Bank of Hazard's network. Hell, still pitching away for Berrigan. Here's the pitch from Hell. Floats across the letters for a ball. Sellers trying for a Williams Brothers trucking home run on that swing. Unable to connect. Sellers looks down her signs the pitch. Ball hit left field side. Going to go foul as it hit on the line but bounced over the outside of the bag. Swapping out base uh, softballs. Yeah. Dude, dude looks like it's coming in. Real smoky, out, hazy out there. Ball. Count even two and two. Count goes full, three and two. Pop up, going to go foul. Backwards. Count remains full, three and two. Sellers with the drive to left field. Going to be over the shortstop and in front of the left fielder for a single. Should be Van oh, Joyce coming in for a courtesy runner. That's going to bring up Mets. I have to take a moment to uh, update his little booklet. Ball 
one comes in high in the face. And that's able to lay off. Continue to pitch by Hill. He's low. Count two and oh. No outs here. Hell with the sign. Here comes the pitch. Ball low. Was a strike. Count three and one. Mets with a foul ball. Count now four. Hell walking around the circle. And a 3-2 count here. No outs. Hell with the wind up. Ball high. Mets with a walk. Puts runners on first and second for the Lady Jackets. Going to bring up Lysa Hernandez. Bottom of the fourth, Hell has pitched 46 pitches, 28 of them been strikes. Hernandez with a bunt. It's going to go down perfect. Nobody's covering. Bases loaded on an infield hit bunt by Hernandez. I was gave you a Williams Brothers truck and home run last at bat. Let's see what we got. Bases loaded for the senior. She had a triple, then a dinger. Takes outside, ball one. Williams Brothers truck and home run right now would be Put nine on the board. Yeah, they're they're pitching well outside on her. Not wanting to give her anything she can drive. Miles proved last time going left center field with it though. Big swing, unable to connect. Miles steps steps out, walks around. Hell looking for the sign. All outside. Count three and one. I believe Varian's trying to keep it away. They'd rather give up one by walking than possibly let Miles have a shot at sending one out. No at win still. Ball four. We're going to walk one in. Takes your scores on the walk in clinic scoreboard. So Jeff Davis six. Varian nothing. Real quickly, going to have a meeting of the minds. Hopefully, Barry had done a little bit of scouting because just as dangerous as Miles is because she hit one in the game. Underwood is equal. Underwood can put the bat on the ball, come in batting 500 in the season. Then you got Stinson and Arnold. All of them can put the ball in play. Looks like we're going to have Mims come in to bat, though, for Stinson. She is the on deck circle. Underwood pop up. Shortstop able to get back underneath it. Or not short, who's at second? Able to get back underneath it. So 
There's your first out. That's going to bring up Corey Mims. Coming out of the flex roll to hit for Stinson. I'll probably have to get all this written down. Recognize our game sponsors again. Southworth Monument, CNH Creative Flooring, Three Rivers Meat Company, Audible Hall Bank, EP American Footwear, McCarty Auto Parts, Southern Eye Care, Interstate Credit Union, and Cypress Hill Tent Shop. Appreciate our fine sponsors. Also, you see the alumni sponsors rolling across the screen. Under your ticket on the Bank of Hazard Sports Network. Mims takes ball high. Visa Group brings you your streaming. Mitch's Pharmacy brings you your field conditions for ladies softball. Ball low and in the dirt. Right now, the dew is starting to fall. Ball's getting a little slick that's hitting the grass. And wind is still dead. The flag's not moving at all. Ball goes high. Count is in. Mims is favorite. Three and zero. Going to be a take sign here. Coach Wilcox doesn't let her know. We will see what hell does. Called strike as Mims stands there. <coughs> Count three and one. Hell steps back up. Hell got her sign. The pitch. Foul ball. Casey for Marion's been pitching pretty well this game. Mims with a pop up line drive to second. She's able to get there and catch it again. So bases loaded. With no outs, has led to bases loaded, two outs. Bringing in your pitcher, Carrie Ellen Arnold. Hoping to go ahead and open this up. Give her some more insurance runs in the circle. Arnold got a pop-up. Third baseman goes over and is able to haul it in, leaving bases loaded. That is your third out of the inning as we have completed four here on the Bank of Hazards Network. Oh, with your Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard, Jeff Davis 6, Berrien 0. At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology, and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional, state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Dr. Kurt Munsiak and his staff at the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic have proudly served this community as the original walk-in clinic for your sick visit needs and as volunteer sports medicine for all our Jeff Davis athletics since 2014. Whether at the clinic, on the sidelines, courtside, mat side, or on the diamond, Dr. Kirk is always ready to help. Give him a call at 912-375-4884 or pop in at 22 Cross Street in Hazelhurst behind Jeff Davis Hospital. God bless and go Jackets from the Jeff Davis Walk-In Clinic. Welcome back here at Lady Jacket Field as we enter the Jeff Davis Hospital fifth inning. We're on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network, brought to you by the Beasley Group Streaming, streaming Sponsor. Arnold still in the circle. We have not had an EP American footwear pitcher change. Arnold with the rock, the pitch. 
not sure where that missed. Must have been just a bit outside. Oh, looks in. Pitch. Ball low. That's in a Castleberry for Berrien. 2-0 count. Quickly in her favor, though. Arnold stepping back in, ready to. She's had one inning, two innings with base runners. Two, three up, three down innings. Had stri six strikeouts. Came into the game with 74, so she is at 80 right now in the season. Arnold with the pitch. I must have missed one somewhere in there. I apologize. It's bringing up Presley Wade. Pop up, going to go back and over the backstop for a foul ball, 0 and 1 count. We're getting ready for the pitch. Foul ball again. <coughs> Excuse me. Ball on in the dirt. Count goes one and two. Another strikeout in the books for Arnold. Bring up Molly Ray. Lead off batter Castleberry still on first. Called strike. Correct that. That's Fletcher. We saw the two up here, but that's actually number 22. Erica Fletcher stepping into bat. Arnold with the pitch. Fletcher with a swing. They're too, unable to connect at home plate. Try this again. Arnold about to get one more past her. Fletcher steps in. Arnold with the pitch. Strike out. Another one. Two strikeouts this inning for Arnold. Gives her eight on the night so far. 82 on the season. Ball high. Casey Hill steps in. This is the pitcher. Took ball one. Ball two. Arnold staying up in the zone right here. He's got to bring it down just a little bit. Here's the pitch. Miles fields it cleanly. Flips over to Mims for the third out. That's going to end uh, five and a half or four and a half here on the Bank of Hazards Network. Jeff Davis walking clean at scoreboard. Jeff Davis six, Barry and zero. 
Since their founding in 1968, the Beasley Group has become a vertically integrated leader in the forest products industry, and this growth has made them the largest hardwood sawmill in the United States and North America's foremost producer of crane mats and timbers for the energy transmission, utility, and construction industries. The Beasley Group is proud to be members of the Hazelhurst and Jeff Davis County community. They are also proud supporters of all Jeff Davis High School sports. Go Jackets from the Beasley Group. Experience a better way to bank at Interstate Credit Union in Hazelhurst, where they offer a wide variety of loans. Interstate Credit Union is second to none when it comes to low rates and great customer service, specializing in personal loans, new home and construction loans, and automobile loans, as well as many other types. Their broad services include personal checking, savings, business, in-person, online, and mobile banking, and much, much more. Visit them at 14 Henson Street or call 912-375-0640, or you can contact them online at interstatecu.org. Welcome back here as we enter the Jeff Davis Hospital, bottom of the fifth on the Bank of Hazard's Network, bringing up Ava Bohannon to lead off the Lady Jackets. Bohannon's having to, they're having to make changes on their scorecards, so give them just a minute. Not as speedy as we are down here. Older generation, speedy delivery. As Mr. Rogers makes his little return back and forth in the meme world. Bohanna with a big cut, unable to connect on Hell Pitch. Bohanna hitting 341 on the season. 14 hits. Another swing and a miss. Bohanna does have 14 home runs on the season, 13 RBIs, one walk. Ball lowered in the dirt. Chopper to third base. Third baseman cleans it. Fields it cleanly. Throws over to first. First baseman had to step on the base twice because she missed it the first time. It's going to bring up number six, Ella Wood, for the Lady Jackets. One out. Wood with a drive to center field. Center fielder is able to get under it for the out number two. That's going to bring up Sellers. Kelly Sellers is going to step in. Off the pitcher's glove, shortstop's got to adjust. Fields it cleanly. Able to get her at first. One, two, three inning on three pitches. That was quick as the Lady Jackets finished five here on the Bank of Hazard's Network. Your Jeff Davis walking clean scoreboard. Jeff Davis six, Barry at zero. As we get a few words from our sponsors. EP American Footwear in Hazelhurst is proud to be a part of the Hazelhurst Jeff Davis community and are proud sponsors of all Jeff Davis County sports. If you're looking for a great job with a great company, they are hiring for all shifts. You can apply in person Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at 10 North Hill Street in Hazelhurst. Go Jackets from all the folks at DP American Footwear of Hazelhurst. Go Jackets! 
Your eyes are your window to the world around you, and good vision is important to everyone. At Southern Eye Care, you can count on their expertise in treating all types of vision problems to help you see your best. From glasses to contact lenses, from surgical vision correction to treatment of eye disease and injury, their team is here to help take care of your eyes. Your vision matters at Southern Eye Care in Hazelhurst. Call them for an appointment at 912-375-2516 or visit them online at southerneyecarepc.com. Williams Brothers Trucking is now hiring qualified CDL Class A licensed drivers with at least two years over the road tractor trailer experience. Williams Brothers Trucking has an excellent benefits package. They have quarterly bonuses. They have great insurance. They offer flexibility as far as your work schedule. Um, you're not really pressured into starting at any certain time throughout the day. Be home every day with family owned and operated Williams Brothers Trucking. Apply now online. Go Jackets! Welcome back here as we get ready for the Jeff Davis Hospital top of the sixth. Here on the Bank of Hazards Network with the streaming brought to you by the Beasley Group. So we're going to bring up Peyton Harris who takes ball one low. Count one and oh. Arnold looking in, trying to get her sign. Here's the pitch. Hot shot down the right field line. Going to go foul. Trying to figure out which softball they want to use. Again, the dew starting to fall out here. You can see it on the grass. Mitch's Pharmacy Field Report. Great conditions except for the dew. Ball high and outside. There's the pitch. Pop up coming our way. Sellers giving it a run. Unable to come up with it, though. She went hard. Count two and two. Sellers and Wood trying to get to it. Going to leave Harris another swing to battle with. Count two and two. The pitch. Strike three. That's going to put another one in the books. That's nine on the night. Should be Tucker. Ball high. Again, Arnold steps back in. Count two and oh, count two and one now. As she caught the corner. We're going to miss. That's going to bring your count even two and two.
Ball high, going to count three and oh, or three and two full. Okay. That's fine, just do this for you. Arnold take a little trip around the circle. Full count. Three, two, one. One out. Arnold with the pitch. Ball hit left side. Hernandez cuts it off. Gets it in with just a single allowed. By Tucker. Tucker getting a courtesy runner. That's bringing up Abby Gardner. Yes. Umpire having to get out his little handy dandy notebook with his little little writing stuff in. And now here we go. Back to work here as Arnold gets her looking for a sign. Garner steps in. The pitch. Ball just a bit high for the umpire's liking. And Arnold ready to go. The pitch. Drive off the front rubber. Underwood clearly. Mims. So Wood unable to come up with it. Wood trying to hold the bag, trying to stretch for the ball, unable to get it as it tips off. But the runner is out, lead runner that is. So two outs. As Gardner had hit into a fielder's choice, we got her out at second. There's a ball somehow or another down in the left field corner. I guess Berrien was warming up somebody. Hernandez quickly sprinting over there. She is the defending 300 hurdle champion for a double A. Arnold now stepping in as Sheely in front of the batter's box. Umpire missed that ball. Does it come across? Called ball one. Arnold with the pitch. Ball hit hard. Hernandez gives it a run. Unable to come up with it as she as we thought she might have got it, but it ends up bouncing out as it she trapped it. Good play by Hernandez. Thought she'd come up with it. But that's going to be a hit. Sorry, guys. I did not mark it on the thing. You got runners on first and second now. As we're going to get a pitch runner for Sheely. That's going to bring up Callie Nix. Up our guy. Got to get his little notebook out. Got everything done. Yeah, he's got a little pocket protector. Rotex. Rolodex. Arnold steps back in here. Swing and a miss by Nix. 
there's a little old school Blackberry out there. Palm Pilot. We got some of the old devices. Arnold steps in the pitch. Pop up, going to go to the right side. Right fielder, or second baseman is going to Mims going to make her way all the way over, catch it at the foul line for the third out. As we have completed five and a half here on the Bank of Hazards Network, your Jeff Davis walking clinic scoreboard. Jeff Davis six, Barry and zero. Make the switch to Mitch. Visit Designs and More by Brandy located inside Mitch's Pharmacy. Brandy offers all occasion flowers, silk, and fresh. Shop Designs and More by Brandy for gift baskets for that special someone. Shoes by Corky and jacket t-shirt for the entire family. Located at 5 East Coffee Street in Hazelhurst. Open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 12 on Saturday. Give them a call at 912-699-3784 and follow them on Facebook. Silas Worth Monument Company offers factory direct orders from Memorial Designs to remember your loved ones. They can create one-of-a-kind computer designs or traditional monuments. You can choose your remembrance in beautiful granite, marble, bronze, or cremation monuments. Call Victor Worth and his staff today at 912-375-4587 or visit their location at 353 Alma Highway in Hazelhurst. Also visit them online at silasworthmonument.com. Welcome back here at Lady Jacket Field as we enter the bottom of the Jeff Davis Hospital sixth inning with your Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard reading Jeff Davis six, Barry and zero on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network with the streaming group, streaming group of the Beasley Group. Streaming sponsor, excuse me. Trying to get all this in, recognize our phenomenal sponsors as they do a great job bringing you Yellow Jacket Sports, Mets takes called strike one on the inside corner. Got our home runs brought to you by Williams Brothers Trucking Home Runs. JC, excuse me, Jenna Miles, responsible for a three-run shot in the bottom of the second. Mets takes ball one on the inside. Count even one and one. EP American Footwear will bring you a pitcher change should that happen. Looks like Berrien is starting to warm up somebody. We'll see if they bring them in here. Hell with the pitch. Mets fouls it off. Tonight with Senior Night, we recognize our seniors. That'd be Addison Brewer, Lysha Hernandez, Bentley Metz, Jenna Miles, Callie Sellers, J.C. Underwood, and Ella Wood. These seven seniors. Ball high on Metz. Right now, we don't have any, any other softball scheduled this week. The Lady Jackets will travel to Sumner tomorrow for a triple header. Then Wednesday, travel down to Berrien for a double header. Then Yellow Jacket football in Dodge Friday night. Mets with the pop-up. Third baseman's calling everybody off. She's able to come underneath it and catch it on the line for out number one. Yellow Jacket softball. Again, on the road a lot this week. They're trying to finish up region right now. They're sitting number two in region play behind Cook as we lost that series. Well, right now that series is 2-0. As uh, game three is scheduled for the last day of competition, and uh, see where that goes. Hernandez chopper, Coach Wilcox just missed playing it with his foot glove, as it got under the glove, made it all the way out. Center fielder or shortstop had to field it. He hadn't stretched much, so he wasn't able to come up with that play over there. Hell getting ready. Steps back up on the rubber. Hell with the sign, the pitch. Ball outside. Counts even one on one. A 
And there it is, ready to go again. Hell with the pitch. Oh, Buck gets away, gets behind Hernandez for a foul ball. Brings up count one and two. Brian does have a pitcher warming up. Should we continue through this? We're in the bottom of the sixth right now. So Lady Jackets are three outs away from a victory. Ball's high on Hernandez. Yeah, as I'm watching, I'm not sure the pitcher's warming up. If they're just down there uh, getting some throws in. Foul ball over the concession stand. Sumter. Hernandez stepping back in. Hell looking at the band. The pitch. Pop up. Third baseman and shortstop. Third baseman's able to get over there and haul it in. Four out number two. Lady Jackets taking the foot off the gas a little bit here. In the last couple of innings, we've been able, unable to put a run on the board. So we'll bring up Jenna Miles, who's responsible for Williams Brothers trucking this game, home run this game, with a three-run shot in the bottom of the second. She led us off with a triple. Ball one. Miles steps back in. Hell reading the band. The pitch. Miles with a foul tip. Count going to even up at one and one. <laughs> Umpire goes to throw it back to the pitcher and bounces it to her. Great way for her to have a clean ball, bounce it in the dirt. Hell steps on the rubber. Foul ball left side over the heads of Berrien. Count now one and two. Pitch. Straight up center field. Going to be a base hit single for Miles. And she is aboard here with two outs in the bottom of the sixth. And as it pointed out, she needs a double for the cycle, but I don't know if we can get back around to her without ball game because we only need two more runs. We got back around to Jenna. With us started having two outs, be challenged. Underwood stepping in. The pitch. Underwood shot up sky high. Right fielder is able to get underneath it. Doesn't make it the warning track. That's your third out of the inning as we have finished sixth. Jeff Davis Hospital Innings here on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network with your Jeff Davis Walking Clinic scoreboard being Jeff Davis 6, Barry and Zero as we get a few words from our sponsor. CNH Creative Flooring can make your floors beautiful. They are this area's foremost experts when it comes to concrete grinding, polishing, crack repair, and epoxy coatings. They offer hundreds of color epoxy flake systems to choose from, custom metallics, neat coats, inlaid emblems, and much more. Whether it's your home, garage, man cave, pool deck, sidewalks, porches, or carport, let us help you make it gorgeous, safe, colorful, and skid resistant. Call Daryl Hutto at 912-381-9037 or Cody Carter at 912-592-5493 or message them on Facebook. Make tailgating easy and delicious with help from Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. Three Rivers Meat Company offers specialty cuts of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. They also have several types of the in-house made fresh sausage. 
If you need a grill, they're the exclusive dealer for Traeger Grills in Hazelhurst. To place your order in advance, call 912-551-9621 or visit their beautiful meat counter at 90 West Coffee Street. Go Jackets from Derek Wooten and the Meat Professionals at Three Rivers Meat Company in Hazelhurst. The Bank of Hazelhurst is Jeff Davis County's only locally owned and operated bank, serving their friends and family since 1906. They offer a wide array of services, including personal, commercial, and electronic banking services, along with mortgage and ag lending. For more information on the services they offer, call them at 912-375-4228. Download their banking app or contact them online at bankofhazelhurst.com. The Bank of Hazelhurst. When others have their branches, they have their roots. Arnold with the pitch here as we come back to the top of the seventh of Jeff Davis Hospital innings. And here on the Bank Hazards Network. Castleberry with a hard hit to the bottom of the wall in left center for a stand-up double. Arnold getting ready here as Preston Wade. Wade has stepped in. Arnold looking for the pitch. Wade swinging a miss. Count now one and two or zero oh and two. Oh, and two. The pitch. Pop up. Going to go foul. Swing him foul ball again. Arnold throwing 83 pitches tonight. 57 of those have been for strikes. She has faced 23 batters. She has nine strikeouts on the night, one walk, and given up four hits. Ball low in the dirt. with the pitch. Ball high. Counts even now, two and two. Not sure where we got the one out on the board at. Swing and a miss. There's our out for the inning. There's your third strike. That's our first out of the inning. That's going to give Arnold 10 Ks on the night. This was this was like it was 21 coming up to bat. 
Substitution change. Strike. I think the count was one and one. Lady Jackets are two outs away from sealing the deal here. Another strike. One and two. And three, that's 11. That was 24, Doc. I'm sorry. I could, the hair moved. This is Hell, your pitcher up to bat, tried to keep the game going. As we have two outs, runner advances a third on a wild pitch. Lady Jackets only needing one more out, though, to seal the deal. So the runner on third is really irrelevant here as we're getting ready to hopefully get one more out. Ball low. So high with a wild pitch, low with a just missing in the strike zone. Makes your count 2-0. and oh. Lady Jackets had three walks on the night. Ball hit center field. Mets going back. It was able to haul it in before she got the warning track. That's your third out as we have now finished the ball game. So your final score on the Bank of Hazelhurst Network is the Jeff Davis walking Clint scoreboard burying zero. Jeff Davis, six. Both teams with five hits, one error by Berrien. Um, great game here by the Lady Jackets and the Lady Rebels. We wish the Lady Rebels safe travels as they head home tonight. Again, Lady Jackets tomorrow will travel to Sumter for a triple header. Yes, you heard that right. Three games, one night on a school night. So triple header tomorrow in Sumter. Then Wednesday will be a doubleheader against Berrien down in Berrien. I don't think you, we're going to bring us uh, either one of those games to you this week. Um, then Friday night, Lady uh, Friday night football will be in Eastman at Dodge. Coaches show starts at six forty-five. Uh, do keep an eye out in case we do bring you one of. Uh, I know we're not going to Sumner tomorrow. If we do bring you Berrien on Wednesday. We will have us a few interviews here in just a moment as we wrap up. So come back. We'll kept, come, catch a couple of words from our sponsors and come back for the end game show. At Altima Hall Bank & Trust, we strive to help you live your best life. That means offering loans for nearly any dream or goal. With competitive rates, local processing, and quick decisions, we can customize a loan to fit your needs. This is Misty Boatwright, Relationship Manager at the Hazelhurst Branch. Come see me today at 57 North Tallahassee Street or visit our website at altimahall.bank. And let's work together to achieve your financial goals. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Need salvage parts for your new or late model car or truck? Then you should call McCarty Auto Parts, where parts arrive daily, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, at their location at 118 Altimahall Road in Hazelhurst. Check out their inventory online 24-7 at McCartyAuto.com. If they don't have the parts you need, they'll find it. Call McCarty Auto Parts in Hazelhurst for all your salvage part needs. 1-800-329-7258. Go Jackets! Cypress Hill Tent Shop, located in Graham, Georgia, offers tenting solutions for every need. Sunroofs, tent matching, removal of old tent, and new installation using state-of-the-art equipment and machines. 
Cypress Hill Tent Shop uses a union tent guaranteed not to bubble, fade, or discolor over time and offers both carbon and ceramic tent options. Tent protects the inside of your vehicle and keeps the inside cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. We also offer pickup and drop off options for your convenience. Call us today. Go Jacket! At Jeff Davis Hospital in Hazelhurst, we are committed to building a healthy community. We use the latest technology and our knowledgeable team members provide exceptional state-of-the-art care to our local community and surrounding areas. We provide a respectful understanding of care for our patients and their loved ones. For more information about Jeff Davis Hospital and the services we provide, call 912-375-7781 or visit us online at jeffdavishospital.org. Welcome back as we are here getting ready for our post-game interview. We've got our seniors up here tonight, so a couple things with all this. Bentley, you're starting off with the final series here this year, uh, this region play with Berrien with a big win as we come out six to nothing. Uh, you got a tough schedule tomorrow as you go over to Sumter for three games in a row. Tell us kind of what y'all are, y'all are planning for tomorrow as you travel down to Sumter. I think we're going to get out at 11, we're going to eat, we're going to leave, and hopefully we're going to take care of business for their games. <laughs> That's going to be tough on you guys. I know travel ball-wise, you're, you're used to playing multiple games in one day. But school-wise, typically uh, two games of, two games, or if there are three, there's a good break in between. Yes, sir. Kind of what you think you all will do, uh, because it's going to be a quick turnaround in between games, what do you think you all will kind of do as a team to, to recover and re- prepare for the next game? Probably just, I don't know. I don't know. It's a surprise for all of you, isn't it? Yes. Awesome. Well, here on senior night, you had a great little game here. You had some good stuff happen. Tell us kind of what you, uh, what is this team going to mean to you as we go on down the road to finish, as we go into uh, playoffs? They mean probably the world to me. I don't think I I would take a bullet for everyone, every single girl on this team. It just means a lot. Just. Next year when I come back and watch them, I'm just going to say, man, I miss that team because they just mean the world to me. I don't, I mean, I, it's hard to explain. Oh, yeah, it's a special group for you. Well, Bentley, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Let me Thank get the next one. <laughs> Lasha, so close to making another big play here tonight, huh? Mm. <laughs> You pulled off a big one over in Apple, and here you you had it in your glove, and it bounced out whenever you hit the ground with it. Big night here. You got you get your bunt down. Was able to get the first. Tell us, you got a good stick. You were able to hit the ball hard. Coach used you a lot in the bunt situations. Tell us, which one do you rather do? You would you rather be able to swing away, or do you like bunting? I'm gonna be honest. It just depends the day. Like today, I felt like I couldn't do either. I'm gonna be completely <laughs> honest. I felt like I couldn't do either. Well, uh, you're still – I'll take you 100 days with – don't think you can do it. I'll still put you out there because I know about 95 of those you're going to be able to. Uh, so kind of t- same thing here. Big day, all that stuff. So as you, as a senior for this group here, tell them what you're kind of thinking for tomorrow. Tell them this, this young group that's got to go with you guys and travel to play th- three and three games in a row against a team that you're going to – it's kind of hard for you to get up for. We know this. So what are you going to tell these young guys, these young ladies – to be prepared for tomorrow playing three games in a row? Uh, just go over there. Don't stress out. Yes, it's three games, but take it pitch by pitch, and it'll it'll go. It'll we'll, go. we'll do what we need to do. Lasha, thank you. Thank we'll you. see you. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, now we have Ella Wood up here with us. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love it. Each one of y'all have a different personality. <laughs> All right, Ella, here we go. So for you, you kind of got to come in here. Um, was reading off your stats earlier. You got to come. You kind of got started being able to get on the field a lot halfway about halfway through the season. You hadn't had a few at bats, but you have zero strikeouts. You were able to put the ball in play. So tell us how you you're able to do that because it is hard to make it this far to the season, even with ha- playing half the games with no strikeouts. So what are you thinking when you're up there and you're able to put the ball in play? Well, when I have two strikes on me, I just know I got to choke up a little bit and hit it. Just like make contact with it. That's all you have to do. No matter where it goes, just make contact. Put the ball in play and things happen, right? Right. 
There we go. So, you coming out right here again? Like I said, you, you've got to play half the season. So tell us kind of what this senior season means for you, with, with kind of coming in a little bit late on it, but finishing up here strong as y'all, you ladies are doing so, and getting ready for the playoffs. Well, at the beginning of the season, I was for sure didn't think I was going to play. Uh -huh. And then whenever they gave me the, you might, there might be a possibility. I didn't want to give my hopes up and everything, uh -huh. but good thing I didn't because I'm back on the field with my girls. Awesome, and you're taking full advantage of it. Congratulations, Ellis. Awesome to have you back. Okay. And next. <laughs> Here's J.C. Underwood with us. J.C.'s awfully dirty tonight because she has <laughs> had two stolen bases. I'm not sure she's attempted two stolen bases all season. No, <laughs> I have not. <laughs> but senior night, we go for two of them. So tell us, what, what were you seeing, or wh why did Coach give you two chances to steal here? Well, their pitcher's not the quickest, and um, I was getting a good jump, so I guess he saw that I could have got uh, an extra base. Awesome, and you did. You got us two You got two good stolen bases tonight. So tell us, you're, you're kind of the anchor over here on the third base side. Okay. Um you know, tomorrow for you, it, Sumner does not usually hit the ball very well, but still, <laughs> you're you're moving constantly on all of your pitches. You're either stepping forward, stepping to the side. You're trying to, to be prepared. Doing three games back-to-back -back in short time frame because, again, travel ball, tournaments, you usually got a, break in, a bigger break in between. What are you going to kind of anticipate tomorrow as your position? Well, it's going to be a long day, but, I mean, you can take never take any team lightly because you never know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to go in thinking that we're going to play a good team and just play as hard as I can. Awesome. JC, awesome to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Jenna. Hey. So, question. Why didn't you get a double? Yeah, oh. you had you were a double so short of the cycle. Well, I, well, I'd have had to like jump over him or something. Yeah, you, you had your your first triple off the bouncing off the wall, then a heck of a shot out there. I think you almost hit the vehicle, which was <laughs> quite funny to watch those boys scatter. Then uh, we had the, you had the single there later on, yeah. but you sh short of a double. And I think for uh, calling softball, I think it's the first time we, as close as I've seen somebody get to the cycle with me calling the games. So uh, that was very impressive. Um, so tell us here, again, uh, kind of bounce around what I'm asking each senior. For you, this this senior season, what does it mean for you getting ready for the playoffs with this whole group of girls? I mean, it means a lot. We're starting to pitch in, hit. We're getting better and better each game. Terry Ellen's starting to throw, get in a groove. I'm just ready to start the playoffs. Awesome. We look forward to seeing the call in it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. You ready for this? I guess. <laughs> Got Callie Sellers here now. Catcher back there. Callie, catcher. Tomorrow, three games in a row. You look very excited about that. Tell us what you're kind of thinking. Well, it is three games in a row, and you just got to push yourself being back up under all that gear and gets hot, but pushing yourself is what you push for to make it work. There you, there you go. There's a reason you do this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you stay hydrated on that side. <laughs> so tell us here, uh, you haven't been up here much with us and, and all that stuff. So for for you as a senior with this group of girls, and your, the catcher spot for this team is, is a vital spot because it is a leader's position of this. What is What, what do you feel is going to be the impact of you on this group of girls? What would you like for your impact to be on this, I should say? Just to show them that it's not impossible to work with that game, that you always got to push yourself no matter what. Awesome. Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. But want it? You, so you got to be in the camera. There we go. Yeah, Addison Brewer here with me. Addison, your 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 big spot on this team is come in because uh, being a runner on the base path and come in and being pinch run hitter a lot of times, and then you got other spots that you play out in the field. We've seen you out there this season. For you being a role player in that scenario, tell us what what it means. How do you stay in the game, and how do you stay focused for that spot? Um, I just like wait until like I try and be in the game and cheer as much as I can, and just like you know watch them and make sure I try and learn from them too. And just try and stay. <laughs> stay a part of the stay game. And stay <laughs> pay attention, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Well, tell us here your senior season. Uh, you know, y'all getting ready for the playoffs, and, and as a lot of the girls have said, y'all keep getting better and better. 
what do you is it, what are you talking about? You stay trying to stay in, trying to improve and trying to learn each game, no matter what's going on. What are you seeing with this group, and what are you kind of what are y'all talking about getting ready for for the playoffs? Um, I think we started off a little iffy, but we're getting there, and I think we're going to do good. <laughs> awesome, Addison. Thank you. Now the senior leader of the group. Yeah. <laughs> senior citizen. There you go. Get those discounts. You got Coach Wilcox here. Coach Wilcox, you got a great group of seniors here. Uh, uh, we just talked to all seven of them, and uh, each one of them's got a completely different personality. It was great to see them up here. Um, tell us real quick of their impact on this group because we recognized them tonight. I know we still got a long way to go, hopefully, and we're still playing in three more weeks. But tell us kind of as you were, as they get recognized, the impact of this group. Oh, uh, it's been a. I've, I've told them before when they were lining up, this was a night really that I've dreaded uh, since they got here. I mean, because the we've had some, a lot of good senior classes, but I'm gonna tell you, man, this group here is <laughs> extra special. I mean, as far as doing things the right way, and we were talking about even during the game. I mean, and I and I went to one of our outfielders in the JV game who I thought could have maybe have done a little more on the play, and I said, you need to watch Lysha play the outfield because mm -hmm. you're an outfielder. And then Lysha laid out and did everything she could to make that play. Yes, I she went did. to the same girl and I said, "You see what she did?" And I said, "You know that's and and we tell the infielders the same thing. I mean, watch Jason, watch Jenna, and watch Ella, and you know it's just and they've got so many opportunities to learn by just observing. I mean, this this is such a special group. I mean, it's just you can, you can just sit here and talk all night about them. I mean, really, it's, they're just they're just great. I mean, and great great people, great people." Coach, I, I know you got uh, JC's committed to go to Jacksonville State, I think, or Jackson State. Um, you got uh, Jenna committed to go north of Georgia, maybe. Right. So you got two of them committed already to go. Uh, I know one or two of them could go. I think Lasha could, may yeah. end up having a track right. track opportunity here. Um, I don't know of many other classes that have had that at least three girls moving on to some athletic form in college. No, and and, and the truth is, I mean, if Bentley wanted to play, she could play yeah. somewhere. If, right. if Lasha. Uh, I mean, Lasha is as good a outfit as I've ever seen. Uh, so definitely, she can. Ella Wood, I had to touch from uh, Georgia Holland, sent me a thing earlier in the year. I want to know about Ella. And, you know, obviously Ella's, um, uh, you know, she's coming off this injury right now, but she's starting to get more and more, you know, back to herself. I mean, these 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 girls, I mean, it's, heck, they could all play. Yeah. You know, if they wanted to play, they could play. But um, it's just been, I don't know, it's pretty incredible, and I hope we can – be incredible the rest of the way too, and 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 they can do some stuff here that's uh, uh, you know more than special. But just it's just been I don't know I just I, I mean I can't I can't say enough about what they do and how they play. And it started from day one when they were freshmen practicing out here in the summer. I mean you could tell right away they were special, and they have not they don't let up they don't they don't take a day off. Every game they play the same way. And it's just a pleasure. It's just, you know, it's just a pleasure. I, somebody told me last year, I bet it's fun to watch them girls play. I said, man, it's fun to watch them practice. Yeah. And they practice the same way. I mean, it's just, but they're, 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 they're a good group. They, they're definitely a, a, a talented and a special group to have out here. And it's been fun to watch. And, and, you know, and all of them talk about that they started off a little rocky. And, and you and I discussed after the Cook series that, that we went, um, that we're down 0-2 in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that wasn't a great thing, but it was a good thing to happen for this girls because it got them refocused. And not that their drive wasn't there, but right. it kind of relit that fire. Yeah. And um, I, I think they've come back. And, you know, we talked about it here, the, the rain delay in that game two, they started back hitting the ball. Yeah. And and it, that's, that's been a big change for this group. You know, whether what, you know how this season is going to play out one way or the other, and I don't know, but I know this. I know, I know that this team, it doesn't have to be easy for them. I no. told them that. I said, y'all are good enough, but it doesn't have to be easy. Not, you know, we can, we can, we dealt with adversity all year from Ella Wood's injury and early on to, you know, uh, now we're dealing with Galecki, you know, her shoulder situation. She's, uh, you know, waiting on the MRI there. I mean, we, it's been one thing after the other, and it doesn't have to be easy for them. They're, they're good enough to overcome things. And we'll have to overcome, you know, going on the road if that's the way it plays out. And it probably will. And uh, I'm fine with it. I mean, we, I, I like our chances. If we play good, I like our chances playing anywhere, anybody. So. I agree with that 100%. And that's, you know, you, you've seen some quality teams throughout the state already this season based on the way you, you build your schedules. And uh, and you all have seen some very good, very much success to it. Uh, Cook, Cook is a quality team. And 
we've discussed you know, kind of what happened we think was the, the hiccups there. and yeah. uh, we're, we're looking forward to a good run with this. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a tough challenge, you guys, a triple triple header. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's in a short time. Uh, you know, and the girls, you know, we, we talked about it a little bit shortly, but, you know, Sumter's not known to be a powerhouse down there, and that's, you know, you're going down, so how do you stay motivated to play tough three games? Oh, yeah. Um, then y'all got Barry in again down in their place on Wednesday. Yeah, double header. Um, and then, you know, trying to finish up the season here, got next week a little bit. So uh, I know it's a, a tough little road here, but, uh, you know, you're not trying to anticipate too much in the playoffs, but I know you guys are starting to look into it. Um, and so we'll, we'll be ready for that whenever it comes around. And, Coach, we appreciate it. Yeah, man. I Congratulations. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. And we'll see you uh, next time. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. As Coach Wilcox here as we wrap up. From Lady Jacket Field with you, Barry, with us beating Barry in tonight, six to nothing, uh, finishing up game one. The, tomorrow they'll be down in Sumner with the triple header, then Barry in again on Wednesday down in Barry, and then uh, for the Bank of Hazelhurst Sports Network will be live Friday down up in Eastman at Dodge with football. So. Keep your nose here on the YouTube network and find out what's going on with Yellow Jacket Sports. I'm Chris Davis here wrapping up at Lady Jacket Field. Thank you.